Hey cohort members, this video is all about your final action plan post and how to embed a link from your action plan slideshow and or uh, embed the actual slideshow itself. So we end the, the cohort experience with two things, the action plan slide deck that I covered in the last video and we also finish it with a post. This is your final wrap up post and it's really a consolidation of everything you've learned beyond the high level kind of takeaways that we have you share in uh, the slide deck with you know in brevity and and uh, just a kind of quick way this is an opportunity to kind of write a little bit more share a bit more call out people that helped you using the ad symbol and really kind of go a bit deeper um, and for those uh, educators that stumble onto our site are referred there um, by many of us throughout the, the year, it becomes a nice consolidation of your action plan where you get to kind of talk about the why from the beginning, some of the pivots you made, some of the changes and decisions you made along the way, and um, where you went with your thinking and what you learned. The failures, in fact, are some of the best uh, posts because they really um, speak truly uh, true to what uh, you know, the, the, what the learning looks like, professional learning looks like, and it's not all neat and tidy, and all in all, experiments um, end up, you know, um, working out. So um, the way we uh, approach this is obviously from the site you would find your uh, blog. So you would go to your own dashboard once logged into the site, and your final post would look very much like the, uh, the old ones or any of the ones you've made. So add a new post. And so after writing a post and including photos and media and, and pictures from your workbook and a million other kind of pieces of evidence that uh, might work to tell your story, we definitely want you to check off the um, action plan, um, the action plan category in your, um, in your, um, your categories tags. This blog uh, doesn't have it. Yours is already pre-populated for, for you. So make sure that you check that. And then we definitely want you to, um, to um, link to your slide deck. So you could do it in two ways. So you can say click here to uh, visit um, my uh, slide deck or something of that nature. And you would go to your action plan slideshow and uh, hit obviously go back to publish to the web and if you hadn't already published it you'd hit publish which gives you this link and then you could go back to your post highlight the text and go over here to the link insert link and then hit enter and now it's a live link the other way you can do this is by uh, embedding it straight up so in this way you'd actually want to switch to text so text here, which is HTML, and you don't need to know anything about HTML, but what you do need to know is that you can put this text into a post and copy it. You can leave this as, make it as small as you want. You can adjust this later by using these width numbers here, 480 by 299. You can change these numbers if you want to make it a little bigger. And you can go in your post and if I wanted to, you know, for example, make it slightly bigger here, I could say that's going to be 580 by, you know, 399, for example. That will play. And then with a post title, then I can um, finish my post at the end, and then I can hit publish. And what you don't want to do is go back to the visual tab. You don't want to switch back because sometimes that strips out this code. So a better way is to just hit publish right from here after your entire post is done. The embed can be the last thing that you do. And then if we go and look at this post, you'll see that that uh, link is here. Click here to visit my slide deck, and here is the actual embedded slide deck that we had just published using this. So that is how you can, uh, at the end of your post, easily embed your slide deck. But you need to do it using the iframe HTML that is, uh, you can grab from going to file, publish to the web, embed, and then cut and paste this, and then play with the sizing to make that all work. Once you've done that, so you've got up until the final face-to-face -to, -face to publish, you can 
change it as much as you want after the fact, but we would love to have this all ready before we meet so that we can leave some parting comments and give you the feedback that uh, we, were, we love giving and um, celebrate some of the great learning that has happened over the years. So see you soon at the last face-to-face -face and can't wait to catch up.